Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Wolf Rock, and I talk all things hockey. I'm going to be telling you why the Detroit Red Wings actually are pretty damn good now. So, obviously, free agency day one started yesterday. Go check out my previous video. It was on the winners and the losers of the free agency. But yeah, guys, Red Wings are actually good. I don't like saying this because, obviously, Penguins and Detroit had a big rivalry a long time ago when they were good, obviously. But now... Since they were doing bad, like it came down. But now it's going back up. I feel like the Red Wings are actually good. I just don't think they're a playoff team yet. But these pickups they've been getting, they're, they're good. They're good. Like they're like secretly good. Maybe you don't think they're big names, but they're good. So let me tell you obviously, they got their Dylan Larkin. Good. They got their Phillips Zadina. Good. Then they got Anthony Mantha still. Cool. Very good player. But the people they picked up, the Bobby Ryan, he's secretly good. He had a good season last year when he came back. And I think he's going to be scary good for the Red Wings, especially helping on the young guys out. Same with, with John Merrill on the back end. Guy is decently good. He wasn't terrible, but definitely will help a struggling Red Wings team. Then they just picked up Troy Stetcher. The guy is very, very good from the Vancouver Canucks. Very good player. Very dedicated player, as we all know. Um... But he will definitely help out the Red Wings as well. Then they just picked up Thomas Grice from free agency. Yes, he's old, 34 years old, but only 3.6. Who cares about cap space right now for the Red Wings? You guys just got a goalie that will keep you competitive for the near future while you guys are growing your youth in your organization. Um, he definitely will. It's just like the Minnesota pick with Cam Talbot. He's not going to be your long-term goalie. He's just there for now to help your team for the future. And he's definitely doing that, helping... The Red Wings grow, and so far, I think the Red Wings management has been absolutely insane. Um, as you can see, I'm on cap friendly. This 2001-22 season, look at how many UFAs they have in RFAs. This, that's the scary part, because they're all old. And that's the one scary part right now, but as of now, their roster is not terrible. I doubt they're all not. They're definitely 100% going to win more than 17 games next season. I'm not going to keep this video super long, because we all know the Red Wings aren't great. But I just feel like from all these pickups they made, that the team's getting better, and I feel like the franchise is going up in the right direction for sure. Make sure to comment down below if you do agree with me that the Red Wings are actually getting very good. Um, you would honestly be dumb if you don't think the Red Wings are actually getting better because, yes, the players might not be the greatest, but right now they're just helping their youth get better and get more, get more ready for them being good in the NHL. But yeah, guys, that's going to be this video. It's going to be a little quick one. I just want to tell you how happy I am that the Red Wings are actually good again because I hate this team's being absolutely horrendous. It's just annoying. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you guys did enjoy it at all, please drop a like. You can also subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 1K, and I'll see you guys in the next little video. See you.